you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today is, of course, Tuesday, which at one point in the year meant we were guaranteed something every Tuesday. It no longer means that. But... It does mean we're guaranteed team of the week and something else pretty special that's finally coming back after a long, like, what has it been, like, three, four weeks? I mean, I might have lost track, so don't, I might be exaggerating a little bit, but felt like a while. Guys, the, the house rules has returned today, and we also get team of the week, so Tuesdays would have been a banger every week if we had team of the weeks and house rules guaranteed, but since EA decided that they cut the house rules promo, and it's pretty obvious why they cut it every week, because think about it. We got a free superstar, a free elite, and a free theme diamond. We got three of the free best three things you can pretty much get besides legends. So what else could they really give us? Because they keep giving us superstar, so we can just complain that we're getting more nat. Could they, they? It would stack our team realistically, right? They probably tried doing it for the first three weeks and realized if we do this for the next eight weeks, they're gonna have a half a 90 squad. We're gonna lose money on packs. It's pretty obvious why they did it for their pockets and just for I guess Madden consistency that we all wouldn't have the same team based off nat cards, which I wouldn't really give a uh, crap. Don't wanna get demonetized. I wouldn't really give a crap if they did that, but for the purpose of how EA likes to run their game, I understand kind of why they did it. But it is cool because it is returning now. It's kind of more of a limited time event now. It's not weekly Tuesdays, but it is coming back today. And the cover of the Mutt kick off, Mutt kick off. The cover of the Mutt weekly house rules was a picture of Khalil Mack. So that does imply that quite possibly we're getting something kickoff related. Now, my fear is that the kickoff related player or item that we will be getting from house rules this week will possibly be a seasonal performer me and xerxes were talking about it. if it's a seasonal performer that kind of sucks but then you have to think about it i mean it is free so you could technically stash them until later and potentially at a 93 overall so if you're able to pick which one you want that'd be awesome because then you could just pick one on like the chiefs and get a guaranteed 93 overall if it is not a fantasy pack then you have to just get one and hope you don't get like a miami dolphins one but guys if you don't know what house rules is just recap real quick house rules is a occasionally on a tuesday gameplay event where pretty much you play online games with that are objective based such as like score 200 yards the quickest first person to win in overtime um shortened field stock plays can audible it's a bunch of cool objective based game mo game modes it's pretty much one of the coolest online gameplay modes we have when it comes to madden ultimate team it's really fun it's objective based so it, keep, it makes you want to keep playing the game it really did bring back users on a weekly basis which is why i really liked it and i kind of wish they would have stuck with it but they didn't and ironically as they stopped doing it madden kind of slowed down a little bit it, it from tuesday to thursday it kept users entertained with the content and on top of that we were getting legends limited time legends and other stuff so it's really cool but guys before we get into this house video and i go over the best methods of how to complete this and i go over the best rewards that we're getting and pretty much the whole bulk of this whole entire house rules event Make sure to go down below, hit the subscribe button, boys. We finally hit 8K. Thank you so much for all the support as of late. I greatly appreciate it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let's get this video to 200 likes for the return of house rules. And guys, comment down below what you plan to take or what you hope to get from these rewards. And maybe comment your predictions down right now. All right, let's get into this and let's go check out the house rules. All right, guys, so before it drops in the game, I'll be showing you guys over on Twitter what it is this week. So we got play by the house rules, tug of war. Now, first, for, first me looking at tug of war reminds me of the superstar KO mode. Tug of War typically is you guys both have alternating plays back and forth. I'll read the description for you before I really explain it. Limited time event. Push and pull your way to victory in Tug of War. You have 10 plays alternating back and forth to secure your win. Start the house rules mission to learn more. So the way this typically works is that you're going to have to alternate plays. So you guys are going to start, let's say, at like the, the 25 yard line. If you get a play, there's going to be at the top, if it's like superstar KO mode, it tells you how many yards you gain versus your opponent. So let's say the first play, you get a 50 yard bomb. And then your opponent gets the ball back now. He gets a two-yard run. You have a 48-yard advantage on him so far. Then he gets an 87-yard touchdown. I don't know if it ends with touchdowns. It could end in touchdowns if it's an overtime. I don't know if it is. But if it's not with touchdowns, if he gets an 80-yard bomb, now you're down by 40 yards. So pretty much you have to keep out gaining your opponent. So let's say at the end you have 200 yards and he has 180 yards. You win. Now, let's say you guys tie. I imagine we'll go into some OT tug of war. But so far, this reminds me of Superstar Camo Mode, and that is really cool. 
Also, I'm pretty excited for this actually because now it's gonna give us some more consistency of something to do during the week. Typically from Monday to Thursday, I was pretty bored waiting for uh, Weekend League and other things to open up on the weekends and obviously the limited time legends. Madden was pretty stale Monday through Thursday. So this house rules is really just gonna like spice things up a little bit and give us something to do. Tug of War especially is a really fun one. Like that superstar KO mode had me addicted for like three days straight of just playing all day. So I can imagine this can be pretty fun. And we get to use our ultimate teams obviously, which is a upgrade in my opinion over playing superstar KO just because it's with an ultimate team, we get rewards. Now all we gotta hope for is that these rewards are in fact, I'm hoping a Nat kickoff players such as Mac Hopkins, Aaron Rodgers, and or Richard Sherman, but odds are it won't be, but if it is, that's pretty cool. It is about to be 10.30. So let's go check out these rewards, and I'll go over the, my best tips and advice for how to go about playing this mode. All right, guys, so the house rules is out, boys. Let's go check out the objective list. Actually, let me go show you guys the cover art first before we go into all those good rewards. And by good, I don't mean good because most likely it's not that good, knowing EA. Tug of War, it says DS. DESC that probably stands for desync. We're probably gonna be desyncing a lot. 48 hours. So it starts today, Tuesday, 10 30 a.m. Eastern time. It goes all the way to Thursday, 10 30 Eastern time also. Make sure to get done before then. 48 hours, first or closest to score a touchdown, 10 offensive plays, each alternatives, each play. Now I don't know if that means with a touchdown you do indeed win the game, I'd imagine, because first or closest to score. Oh yeah, yeah. First or closest to score a touchdown. So if you do score a touchdown in the first play, it's over. So you want to be, you could be, you could be just looking long the whole game if you really wanted to. Because if you do grind out yards, because 10 plays is a lot. Like, if you want to, like in, in Superstar KO, I would grind out yards because it was only three plays. So like, if you didn't get a touchdown on those three plays and you went deep, you end up with no yards and you drop the ball. But in this one, you have 10 plays to just go for the touchdown. So in my opinion, see, with the way I like to run the ball, I'd probably, it's tough. If they come out in blitzes, I might just go deep real fast, get the first burner, be done with the game. But if they're playing in a coverage, maybe just run the ball. Because you do have 10 plays, so you could probably clear the field with Marcus Allen or one of those running backs pretty easily. But considering it is 10 plays, things could go south quickly. I don't know if grinding out 10 plays of yards is always the smartest idea. Because all that guy needs is one good block, one Bo Jackson run, one good thing, and he could he, on the 10th play, he could beat your ass. So, like, that is kind of concerning. So, I mean, this one doesn't really have any cut, like, clear-cut strategy, right? It kind of depends on who you're playing. If you're playing a guy who you know has a better team than you and he's probably gonna be able to like one good block and he's gone it might be better if you just go for the touchdown as quickly as you can but if you're playing a very undermatched team again you can still just get a touchdown because undermatched there's really no clear-cut strategy it all depends really who you're playing if they're heavy blitzers they're heavy coverage guys they're you know they're nano blitz it really depends on what you're doing now let's go check out these rewards please be good i mean i don't think they're gonna be great i already know we're not getting a free legend or a free mutt i already know we're not gonna get it let's see Tug of War, and we get collectibles. Go figure, EA. One win, one ultimate kickoff collectible. Five wins, one ultimate kickoff collectible. Ten wins, one ultimate. 15, one, 22, 25, two of them. 32, two, two, three, three. 30 trophies, 30 trophies, 30 trophies, 40 trophies, 40 trophies. So, 100 wins in this. Probably isn't that hard because of how quickly these games could be finished. But, I mean, in theory, I'm not a fan of this, right? And, like, I'm not a fan of this at all. I really think we should have gotten a player because a 20 collectibles does get us a random i mean it can almost get you if you do the solo challenges one of the top tier patriots eagles or chiefs uh seasonal performers which i guess you could use to get one of the potential 93 overall players if you do save all these plus the solo challenges plus the ones you got from madam rewards if you put them all together you could in theory get one of the 93s you do get 10 trophies 10 trophies 10 trophies so that's 10 20 30 40 60 80 100 120 140 140 170 200 you do get 200 trophies but then you just lose half of them i guess you could use these trophies to finish off the last little things you have to do for the series but realistically if you do all of these i mean you you, you lose half of them in about three days when the series 2 comes out also i mean if you do all these you get 20 20 30 50 65,000 coins all these trophies i guess if you get all the trophies it's not bad but you're gonna lose half of them now let's go over to the sets real quick to show you guys what you could potentially earn if you do have, you do take all those trophies. Let's see, if we go over to sets, we go to ultimate kickoff, seasonal performers. You could easily, I mean, you could get one of the Super Bowl favorites. You have 20 plus your Madden rewards plus the uh, solo challenges. But realistically, guys, you're getting an 83 plus. So it's a free seasonal performer. House rules, I mean, it's, it's all right. I'd probably go, I'd probably go for like a random one, wherever the random one is. I believe it's, is it here? Team quick sell. Yeah, ultimate team cook uh, starter kit. That one was pretty good, but obviously... That one's a little bit different. 
Now, guys, that is about it for the video. I don't know. You guys can take whatever team you guys want. I did rank them in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys somewhat enjoyed this house rules. It was okay. House rules at least is back, but I do not entirely agree with the, what we got. But I guess if you if you store those, if you saved your other collectibles, you put them all together, you could get one of the Chiefs, Eagles, or Patriots players, which will ideally be a 93 overall within like 12 or 13 weeks. But guys, that is about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, go down below. Hit the subscribe button, boys. We're at 8K. The grind to 9K started today. Make sure to comment down below what you think of these kickoff, this kickoff house rules rewards. Make sure to drop a like in the video. Let's get this video to 200 likes. And that's it, boys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.